it's so good. <laughs> it's a racist joke, y'all can laugh at that. Uh -huh. And uh, so, a lot of people's like, oh my god, you're like Obama. Like, are you related to him at all? And of course, <laughs> it's a fucking white girl who asked me this. And it's just like, we really need to teach these people, because y'all some dumb people. <laughs> and I can say that because I'm half white. I'm trying to help y'all out before you just ask me. <laughs> black people will beat your ass down if you got a black president. It's okay now. <laughs> and so I'm like, no, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm related to him. His people, my people, you know, we all sit next to Martin Luther King's people on the boat right up here. He's real tight. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things where, you know, I grew up with, you know, of course, starting out with white Barbie dolls. You know, Barbie had a big mansion and everything. And then I started getting older. I got black Barbie dolls. Barbie's house went on foreclosure. <laughs> Khadijah moved in, where, you know, basketball players, you know, husband, Stefan, you know, but they kept Barbie, they kept his maid and everything, so it's all cool, kind of really reverse slavery. <laughs> and it's almost like, since I am an Oreo, I grew up with Irish pride, black pride and all that, I find it that I'm playing like double dutch when I'm with my friends sometimes, because when I'm with my white friends, you know, and they're like, yeah, you know, I incorporate them to black people, you know, trying to give them culture and everything, try to help them out. And it's almost like they get too comfortable. Because, you know, at a black party, you know, rap be bumping and everything, my friend's like, yeah, my nick, music stops. <laughs> stops, I'm like, Sherry, we're going to have to beat your ass now. That's your thing. I'm sorry. And then with my white friends, I bring some of my black people in, trying to get their ass out the ghetto, you know, trying to, you know, like them and share about life. It's almost like when I hear pop, pop, fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that, I ain't getting shut, I got too much to live for in every damn thing. And it's almost like when guys come up to me, especially, you know, brothers, they're like, yeah, girl, you want some thug dick in that cream? No! <laughs> no, I don't! <laughs>
Sometimes when I'm alone, it's almost like the only thing I got is my freaking shower head that has six speeds to it. <laughs> That's some bullshit. I had to buy a snuggie just to cuddle with my ass. <laughs>